rapper. Then we let the we let these motherfuckers call themselves rappers and they can't freestyle. We let these motherfuckers call themselves rappers and they can't perform without their background vocals all in the shit like with just background vocals. That we let these niggas call themselves some rappers, bro. We let them call themselves rappers and they can't even a cappella a verse. You can't even just spit a verse to yours. You can't just do it a cappella. We let y'all, we let y'all call yourself rappers. Cause we would never let them call themselves hoopers. If you come out here and you can't eat air ball, like bro, you're not a hooper, bro. You might be able to play basketball, but you're not a hooper. We can't let you call yourself a hooper because of who else we call a, a goat. Come on. We let you call yourself a rapper. A rapper, nigga? You can't even perform? You ain't even got merch, nigga? You a rapper? What? You ain't got no money for video? You ain't got no money for studio time? You a rapper? Nah, that ain't it. You can't You can't even record your... You a rap? Nah. So, it's a bunch of... Just like at a position at a, at a uh, corporate job. You got a title and you got uh, skills that need to be required and you got damn near expectations of your job description, bro. To be able to call yourself a rapper. Y'all won't call yourself MCs. I bet you don't do that. The, pit, the folks I'm talking about. You, you wouldn't call yourself an MC. Because you know it take a little bit more. But hey. Oh I say. Rap. We done. We done. We done. And this is intended to be motivational. Everything I'm about to say. I'm just trying to. I'm trying to make it motivational. Even though it's a big realization. And it's like something that we must admit as us rappers, as all of us, we might have set our goals, we said we was going to do this, this, to hit all these milestones and we might not hit them. The business has changed. It's not the, the game changes. And um, I'm starting to realize that I'm starting to realize we've been tricked. This thing that. Uh, 20 years ago we all had the same dream 20 years later all these little kids they got the same dream they want to be rich they want to be famous they want to have the cars they want to have the girls we understand that um but truth be told the game is lied to us simply put and i know you see the title and you like what is he talking about why would he put that as a title yeah i put that as a title because i'm thinking about everything i invested in rap from when i was little up until now all the time on the equipment, the studio, interning for a year and a half without pay, 12, 16 hour days, moving away, chasing this dream and all that. Yeah. Uh, and it's been glorious. I'm not, now listen to me. You got to stay with me because I got a twist at the end, okay? You got to stay with me. Um, but yeah, investing all this time, doing open mics, getting scammed by this guy, marketing over here, paying for this, these beats, these lyrics, writing up, you know, uploading it. Making sure the album artwork is done and all the features and everybody get it's a big business. It's a lot, right? So from that aspect, you're gonna appreciate the hustle. You're gonna appreciate everything that the game has taught you because it can teach you a lot about life and how relationships, networking, talent, uh, you know, just uh supply, demand, like what people are looking for and being able to adjust and adapt. It is a beautiful, um, it's a beautiful beautiful but twisted business you know and everybody we know tells us it ain't what you think it is and yet we still out here we chase it night and day year after year you know and invest all this money dollar after dollar thousand after thousand you know scam after scam and we don't see we don't see the results we feel like we should based off talent and that's where my problem comes in it Cause it's a lot of folks out there I know that's talented, and I'm like, man, they got one, two. They probably got one, two, or three. You know, they could probably go, and that's enough. Back in the day, you know, we got a plenty of rappers. We called them, um, what do we call them? One hit wonders. Like, come on, I know, hell, I could be a one hit wonder. I know I got one of them at the at the at the very. I know I got one of them. But that comes in time. Like maybe I didn't play my cards right. Maybe I had a time to get in, um, and I might have let it slip. I might have let it pass. I might have. I'm not gonna lie. And I know I got the other mics and I'm using this live lyric mic. Just testing it out, by the way. Um, yeah, I, I'm like, I know I got it. I know I probably got one, but 
you know, uh, I'm sure a lot of people feel that way. And as I'm listening to all my old stuff, I'm in the gym, right? And I'm listening to all of my old stuff. And I'm like, damn, like, I really thought I was like, you know, in some songs I go to and be like, this timeless, this timeless music right here. This could re-release anytime. This will go. First time you hear it, you love this song. And I feel like I got a lot of them. But maybe everybody else do too. Um, but as I'm listening, even looking at my image in the videos and what I was wearing and this, I'm like, what was I thinking? Like, I wouldn't even, I, did, I thought at that time I was the greatest and 17, I thought I was the greatest at 12. I thought I was the greatest and should have been signed. Like this is a, uh, it was a um, necessary delusion. I would say for the job I'm applying for, it's necessary to be that delusional when it comes to, um, you know, uh, this hip hop, this rap, because your image, you got to believe it before anybody else believe it. And if you don't believe it and, you know, I still have people telling me, you got it, you got it, you need to, you, I mean, keep going. Um, yeah. And it just, it kind of, it kind of, kind of shifted on us. You know, the game changed once we found out who the players actually are, what 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 game we playing on, what we really fighting for, what's control, what's not real, what they want to what they want to put out there. Cause I'm like, yo, if we doing a pros and cons on music and rap, I can guarantee 99% of the people doing this job is not seeing the returns that they need, even though they may be great. Even though they may be great, even though they may be talented, great and all that, I guarantee you they feel the same way. And we all think like, yo, we got what it takes and ain't nothing wrong with that. Like I said, necessary delusion that is necessary um now when we started when we started listening to hip-hop i'm sure you was inspired by the lyrics the beats the hooks the catchy hooks and all that and now we are growing and we realizing hold up they don't even care about the talent no more they care about clout if you got clout you can you can sing a song and make some money you know the t it's still some talented ones that i think are you know moving up uh right connections right timing right moves made salute to them um but on the other hand, everybody else who didn't wasn't able to make them correct moves in that correct moment. You know, um, it's it's different for us. And that's who I'm talking for. That's who I'm speaking for tonight. Right. Um, I did say I got a twist to it. I might as well tell you all now. Like um, uh, I'm quitting rapping, but I'm not quitting music. It's a big difference between the two, because I feel like with rap, if you were a rapper, I thought that carried a certain you know like a job like a title there was a description of that job and as a rapper when i was young when i fell in love with this shit that's what i was taught on that's what i was thinking that application when we like you had to be able to flow freestyle uh you know write your own song sing like you 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 was required to do that to say you was a rapper you had to be an mc you had to be able to uh go off the top of the dome any given moment uh and it ain't even got to be great. You just got to rhyme. You just got to flow. It's that simple. Talk about what you see around. Like, yo, a skill that we, like like basketball, they have certain certain things that you, it, on the court, you know, because you know I play basketball. I always put basketball with every life skill because I love it. It's much like just a principle. Like, if you're going to be a rapper, I need you to be able to do this job. And now we're seeing that that new resume is something else. It's like, remember, you gotta have a degree, right? Now, they like, you ain't gotta have no degree. Hell, you ain't never even gotta go to school. But yet, you ain't gotta have a good grade. Better fit, you ain't even gotta be qualified. Do you, I think you got some clout, and I'll put you on. i give you a song, let's go. We'll turn you up. Salute to them, but for the ones that's trying to apply for the job, which we fell in love with back in the day, and we done worked our way up to get this, and then the whole job changed, like, that's where we at right now. I feel like it. So, so I say, I'm going to try to get my mu I'm going to get my music in movies. I'm going to try to get my music in um I'm gonna try to get my music in um games, like stuff like that. Um maybe make a children's book, but I've carried over to this podcasting game because and YouTube and like cuz it's the same stuff. I was always what they considered a positive rapper. As a positive rapper, I'm like I just don't even have to rhyme no more. I could just say what I'm really trying to say, tell these stories, get some stuff across, throw some um, some comedy, some satire in there, and boom. So you got a great podcast because I'm still talking and breaking a lot of stuff down. And this way, if you don't like the beat, no problem. Listen to what I'm saying. If you don't like the flow, no problem. Listen to what I'm saying. You know, uh, you don't like the video, don't matter. Listen to what I'm saying. I think at every every rapper's fear is that they might not make it they may not be who they thought they was gonna be who they told they friends they family uh they city uh they school they 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 they, they haters they told them watch one day i'm gonna be on like and then for that day to not come i'm telling you 
or even not come yet even on a not came yet like yo i feel your pain i'm telling you i feel your pain that's a whole that's it that's like somebody not going to the nfl somebody working all to come become a lawyer can't pass a test a doctor mess around your hands messed up now you can't even you know what i mean you can't even do surgery what you went for so yeah the shit has changed oh now they got robots you thought you was about to come in here and you thought we needed your hands bro now we got a robot to do your surgery now no fatalities everything done correctly by a robot like yeah all my rappers i'm right here with you man i feel your pain i uh i certainly not saying give up that's not what i'm saying i'm not telling y'all to give up not at all um i'm actually telling you that you're gonna have to become more than just a rapper you're gonna have to become a producer you're gonna have to become an engineer too you have your own shit yeah you're gonna have to become a social media manager you're gonna have to become a photographer take your own photo like you're gonna have to figure something out especially if you ain't got the funds to disperse especially at a time like this in 2024 under this administration um yeah it's not the same it's different right now so you gotta you gotta work extra hard you can't just be a rapper i'm just a rapper no you're not you gotta do way more than that especially if you want to take off now you better be a tiktoker youtuber producer like i said engineer like come on you gotta be more if you want it now you gotta you gotta step up and do more because it's gonna take a lot more to get your vision out there and I, i'm saying i feel like what every rapper needs to hear in 2024 i might call it that instead of oh, i quit rapping i was gonna go for some title i don't know but this is what every rapper needs to hear in 2020 every upcoming rapper needs to hear in 2024 again i ain't know where we was, was going where we started off with but hey we, we flowing we going because we know for damn sure them open mics lied to us them open mics fucking lied to us they told us they was gonna have some niggas that could get us and sit us with this Def Jam and uh, 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 all these other record labels, man. It'd be one, two niggas in there. They take some pictures, get a check, and bounce on us. We don't never hear from them. Nobody ever gets signed from these. The only motherfuckers benefiting is the folks who put it together. put Took everybody's money, organized them on stage, paid the DJ a little. You know what I mean? Come on. Knock it off. We didn't hit too much L's with these scams, with these fake tours, with these bullshit. Nags. You know what I mean? Come on promoters working with promoters promoters one more you know going to the set the mics be bad like we deserve better we deserve better what every rapper needs to hear in 2024 i'm telling you went to audio engineering school man moved to atlanta interned right like i've been rapping since i want to say like fourth grade man like young boy rapping that's why I am so good at rapping. I actually am good at rapping. Metaphor, similes, flow, putting it together, hooks, all that. I'm pretty good at rapping. Um, I don't know. It's like open gyms. It's like open mics. You know what I mean? You go in there. Like I said before, you can hoop against fucking um, LeBron James. Hoop against LeBron James. Score, put put 30 on him. It don't matter. That ain't going to put you on the Lakers. Still, you still may not get to the Lakers, even doing that. Um, and that's where I feel like we at. We can go in there and compete with the Giants, but hey, don't mean we're going to blow up. The song might be fire this, that, but they got motion. They got clout. They got they they girlfriend fighting on fucking um, baddies. Their girlfriend got a million followers, two million followers on Love and Hip Hop. Or they're like, yo, stripping, whatever it may be. Whatever it may be. They know this guy. They know this other mega. It ain't too much of them going around. It ain't too much heavy hitters going around. You feel what I'm saying? Um, yeah. And and another thing, I realized that rappers, they were not like think of that. We still go and do what we love because we love it. How much rappers are still rapping just because they love it, or are they doing it for money? That's the difference. That's why I say I'm gonna do music. I ain't gonna stop. I ain't gonna stop actually making music now, but I'm done with this. What I thought it was called, it was rapping. I thought it was rapping. I thought we was rapping. This what this what it's about bars and all this stuff. Like nah, it's about some whole other shit that don't got nothing to do with talent. And I sat down. I focused on the talent part. The the meat and potato. I focused on the fucking meat and potatoes, and it's the thanks I get for that shit. Wow, wow, knock it off, man. You gotta be, you gotta be playing with me. Where's hoop, nigga? Rappers rap, like, and you telling me if you ain't getting money for it, just like when you out there getting cardio on the court, man. Rapping, you expressing your mind, you getting shit off your chest, you being thoughtful. This is like crossword puzzles for us creatives who love bars and raps and this sport, this fucking 
skill, this this important ass part of life for all of us that we all dream to say this is what we want to be. Yeah, this is this that. This is that. You know what I mean? Um, let's say you are a positive rapper. You want to be, um, you know, uh, make an impact. You want to be an impactful person, not just a rich person. Because there is a difference. I wonder, I question that. Would you rather be rich and not impactful in any way, shape, or form in your whole lifetime? Or would you rather be impactful but not rich? Think about the people that are impactful that we remember we talk about. We also remember the rich ones, but we don't really care about the rich ones that wasn't impactful. So which one would you really rather be at the end of the day? That is a good question to ask. I would say so. Um, but it gets a little darker. Hip hop. Now, when we see like the people that control it and own it, and we know that they are pushing a certain style of music now, you know, you want to you want to. Get your stuff out, be positive. But now they pushing a certain type of music, which they always have. I'm not saying they haven't, but hits were hits, right? But now it's like they're pushing something, you know, and it's to our community. We don't even control this culture anymore because once money becomes involved, I feel like. Once the money become involved, we might lose some people. The rotten, what is it? The rotten apple, the rotten apple. Yeah. Think it spreads, you know, like rotten apple. You get a rotten apple in there, man. It's just gonna ruin the whole thing. I salute Jay Z for going, you know, talking about ownership, getting his uh rights back, fighting for other people's. Like that's that's big. Um, and whoever else was involved in doing some stuff like that for for um hip hop and all that because they was the ones that took that understood the system and fought against it. Kanye, like, come on talking they talking that talk like nah we want to own some shit we want to own some shit y'all don't control us and not like this is our shit like they was talking that talk they been talking that talk we weren't listening to them but they was talking that talk and so salute to them look at jay-z with title like come on so i guess i'll wrap it all up by saying don't don't just be a rapper be um be whatever's necessary be an artist Cause sometimes you going as an artist, you can wrap everything else up in that that word right there. Don't be a rapper, be an artist. Go out there, cause you're gonna do more. You're gonna do a lot more than just rap. An artist is different. That's the only thing I feel like we got left to call ourselves. You can call yourself a musician, but I feel like you need to be able to play instruments. But an artist, that's a that's different. That's a, a lot. That's a big umbrella. And you can put a lot of stuff under that. But for rappers, like, listen, we come on. La, la, I would say in 2024, if you say, hey, I'm a rapper, like you introduce, I, you say what you do. And you say a rapper, like, come on, nine times out of ten, people like, come on, man. Of course you are. You know what I mean? Like, of course you are. Yeah, me too, nigga. Them too, them too, like everybody's a rapper. Everybody makes songs. Nigga. Everybody's playing that lottery. That is a jackpot lottery style sit type of situation. And we have put a lot of money into it. Now, I've learned a lot of things from this rap stuff. That's what I'm saying. Like I said, when I went switch over to podcast, it's a lot of ways you can go from the skills of it. Like I'm a audio, whole audio engineer. I picked up a camera and start editing because of that. Um, you know, understanding lighting, setting, and all this other stuff. Uh, green screen. You can. I got a green screen right here. This is where I actually shot a lot of my stuff. Uh, edited. I used to work out of this room myself. Like, so I spent a lot of time in here. That's what I was just thinking. Like, y'all used to make a lot of songs right here in this place. And to think about that, I'm like going in a whole nother way going and do something completely different from rap uh it's like uh it's bittersweet it's but it's because it's like i'm happy doing this podcast and doing a whole lot more because i'm like all i was worried about was the next song got the next song got the next song after i just told y'all that i um i would look back and listen to my old music and be like oh some of these songs really wasn't it some of these uh some of these outfits really wasn't it. Like this scene in this music video really wasn't it. Like now I know I can do so much better. And I feel like I'm finally finding after taking some time off, waiting, then watching, looking back like, oh, I could have stepped my shit up some more. So I'm not saying to nobody stop. 
like I said, stop making music. Nah, you just got to do more than just be a rapper because that title is just so, it's, it's just got a bad stigma to it. That label now is a rapper, like nah, because rappers ain't out here. They not out here like, come on, opening highs. They not discovering this. They not, you know, doing like, it ain't, that's what I'm saying. It's, it's, uh, it, we, it, it's of all the job titles you or labels you can put on yourself, say I'm an artist instead. Because that that means, oh, well, what type of artist are you? Do you do this? Do you let them wonder? Hey, I'm an artist. Wouldn't you like to know? Wouldn't you like to know? I paint I paint on the track. Like, tell them that shit. I'm getting my nose getting stuffy as hell in here. Um, tell them you tell them you are an artist or a musician. You feel me? Like that's going that's going be a little better. I'm an artist, you know. Because let's just be facing. Well, ever ever since we was little, they say if you a you doing this, you doing it like you ain't gonna make too much money doing that. But now you can kind of make some money. But look at the people making the money versus the people who ain't that you know, and the percentage of them like, oh, they not getting that much. Like, come on, they ain't get like, yeah, these motherfuckers gotta get trying to find. They they gotta open some businesses, get some enterprises going, some investments. Come on, knock it off. So like I said, I never tell nobody stop doing it, cause I'm still doing it. You know, I'm just not saying I'm a rapper. I'm not a rapper no more. I'm not. I quit rapping. I'm an artist now. Basically, that's the message I wanted to get across to y'all. But at the same time, open your eyes now. Open them because you got to see what's happening. You got to see where this is going. It's getting more short and more short. The three to 16, eight, 16. Bridge eight, bring the hook back at the end. Like that's over with. It's too long. These motherfuckers going, starting the song off. Eight eight bars, hooks, twelves or eights now, nigga. Another hook, another eight, another like two minutes done. That's crazy. That's not what we was raised on. That's not. We was going off three sixteens, three thirty four minute songs. Come on. Telling you three and a half minutes, knock it off, man. Y'all don't that that's what we was on. We was on the listening to the Cassidy's, the the fucking Wayne's, the Jay Z's, the the job root. Like, come on. The um who was I about to say? Uh damn man. We listen to everybody, man. Um 50 Cent. Come on, man. Like we was on some this rapper shit was different now, but in the whole time we didn't know. This this telling all the little kids to be rappers when they grow up. We ain't even really register that. And now I'm at that age where I'm looking at it like, damn, they really played me. They really played me. All I was thinking about was rap. Gotta be a rapper. Gotta be a rapper. Push this to the side. Prolong this. Don't go to school. Don't. I gotta chase this dream and be a rap. Like, and then you realize, and these folks selling their soul to be up there. And and if they not spiritually selling their soul, they selling out. They selling themselves out, you know. And we seen them. Then you see the people get up there, get it all, and warn us, hey, it ain't what you think it is. This shit different. It's different. And I salute anybody still to hear that and still want to go into it like I was. I'm like, I'm going to go into it and change something. Thanks for y'all's input, y'all's advice, but I'm going to figure this out. Like, nah, that's it's crazy. Running into a burning building, hoping you get hot. See what I did there? This rap shit is um, it's beautiful. It's it's the light. It's the light. But man, it's dark. It's dark light. If it's anything, it's dark light. Rap is a dark light, man. You start getting into it with these folks, the publishing, the the label, this that, like man, these folks. Come on, they telling you, I give you a million dollars right now, but I own all the rights to everything on your name that you do this, and you out here doing it all, poisoning. It's the new crap, poisoning the neighborhood, poisoning these, like, and you ain't talking no, telling them how to get no money, just, now the motivational shit, the classics, I ain't gonna fault no classics, but we know who ain't doing classics. We know who out there talking about some do this, do that, and wild, and like, nah. Nah, um, but I ain't saying any of us watching out there, we would have took the money and did the same. I feel you on that. I, if that's you, I get it. If that's you, I get it. I understand where you're coming from. I ain't even going. At the end of the day, you got to do what you got to do. 
But I'm telling you, it is a lottery. It's a gamble. And you risking a lot. The late nights, the, the studio sessions, the clubs, man, the to the DJs, the open mics, the, the shows, the tour. Like it's so much people. It's the money go through so much people. It's 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 hard not to to not get scammed. You know what I mean? It's the the DJ, you like you know what I'm saying? They want 50, 100, you know what I mean? Like I understand this, man. Going to the clubs. Staking them out, shaking too many hands, networking with people, never, you know, and never really linking up. That, I got so used to that shit, like, you know, uh, I even offered to shoot videos for folks. They they only invest in that. You know what I mean? I'll be like, damn, you don't even get a video. That's that's different for me. And I'm shooting my own. I had to go figure out on YouTube how to shoot my own. Use a green screen. Figure it out by myself. Like, I hate to say, I hate to say it, man. Um... But I will say it, you got to diversify your skill set for sure. Diversify your skill set. You got to make sure you can do a lot of things. Be resourceful so that way you can keep shit in-house. You can get shit done and you ain't got to wait on nobody. Like, I can handle this. There's a way. There's a way. If there's a way to do it, you just got to learn to do it. And more than likely, the information is free because ain't really nothing you can't do. Information is everywhere. If you can't find it, you can damn near pay somebody to teach you. And that's a that's a blessing. You can if you want to, you can go learn anything you want to right now. That's my realization. You can go learn anything you want to right now. Yet all we do is choose to rap. We choose to make music. All of us. When we are such brilliant minds, if we can put these crazy ass songs together with these frequencies and make the whole world go crazy, imagine what else that smart brain can do. All of us don't got to be rappers. And it's hard to say that as much as I want to be a famous rapper. You know what I mean? For my music. That was my whole purpose of moving down to Atlanta. I'm like, yo, I'm about to go down there. And I did. I got close to a lot of people. Met a lot of people. Like I said, I interned at a popular uh, studio in Atlanta. Popular. Met a lot of people. I'm seeing the entourage. I'm seeing how things is working. I'm seeing how it's really only one nigga that's really on right now. All these other niggas is just, they just hanging out. Like, they just hanging out. No careers. Like, nothing. Like, and I'm like, damn, I wonder how many years you got to do that just to get into that other position. Because I'm sure it's like, in some camps, I believe it is. Yeah. I do believe it's like, yeah. especially if you ain't got the connections, you ain't got... I'm always from the perspective of a upcoming rapper doing it by myself, doing it independent. And I got so used to saying, oh, because I'm trying to keep all my money, my masters. I ain't going to, man, one hit, one million dollars. Cool. Y'all, on it, man, take it. Why not? Come on, some shit you cooked up. It's the lottery. Take your one million dollars. Like, we got to stop looking at it like we trying to be always independent. You need to work with somebody. Now everybody want to be independent and ain't everybody independently ain't got no connections. So that's something to think about as well. Something to think about as well. But I made a lot of music in here, man. I, I got down there. This was my this was my spot, my sanctuary. I come here, had a nice setup, go to work, recorded the album, the creative players. The creative player, I'm sorry. My last album um, dropped in October last, last year, 2023. Bangers. And the last like four or five songs I recorded on that album was actually like the ones that people are like, yo, you rapping, rapping, you going crazy. So I'm like, dang, the last three, five songs I done recorded, people don't really like because I did take some more time off before I finished that project. And I decided to drop it. Uh, so I'm like, oh, I can only imagine if I hop back on the track now because it's been like it's been months since I made a song. It's been a long time since I made a song. And it's like. I'm getting back into that point where I want to freestyle. And all. So I'm like, oh, okay, let's make some music. But I don't want to do it. It feels so much better making it just to make it. Just like I hoop just because I love the hoop. I love the art of the game. That's a big difference. I don't want to be in a position to say I got to rap for money. Like, no, I make bangers for free. Nigga. That's me. I make bangers for free. Give them out to you. You got your, I dropped the video, I dropped the IG, I'll remix them. I, I'm giving you bars. I'm showing you skill and creativity, art. I'm bringing it to you. I'm doing, I'm editing it. I'm shooting it myself. I'm writing it. I'm recording it. I'm engineering. Like I'm doing all the steps and presenting you with something. That shit better. That's better than an NFT. I'm doing, put more, way more effort into that. than they putting into an NFT. This is, you feel me? I'm like, I'm giving you all of this. And they'll listen to it and they'll listen to it. They might like it, but 
they don't realize how much them comments, them shares, them streams, them added to them playlists really count to you like, yo, if you like it, I need you to I need you to show me. Just like you had them other ones in there. Put me on there. Throw me on there. I can I, I got two minutes. Two minute thirty minutes. Two two minute thirty seconds. You can put me on your playlist. Like, come on, man. One of them. One of them. But um, yeah, I think I might. New music. After talking to myself, I feel like I'm venting to y'all, but I'm talking to myself like, yeah, we that's um that's pretty. It's not over yet. I know it's not, cause nigga, my uh, shout out Matt Helliger, man. He was like, bro, you got to do redo this song. You got to like, this is your one. I promise you. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna give it another round. So shout out Matt, man. I hope with him in high school. Uh, so he know me. He know he been listening to my music for a long time. I think he might have. I don't know if he even seen my first talent show. Who knows? But it's been a long time, and I've been getting a lot better working on the image. Uh, I feel like I'm, you know, it's just like something happened when you hit that, when you get out of, get away from us, get away from it, come back, switch up, do something else, and then come back to it. You like, oh man, I thought I had it all figured out. Nah, you, you, you wouldn't listen to nothing. Shout out Gator, and they were telling me, rap, bro, rap, 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 just rap. And I'm like, yo, now I understand. My boy Johnson, he was like, bro, pop it, bro, you gotta pop it. Pop your shit, da da da. Gooch even was saying that you gotta pop it, baby. You gotta pop that shit. Like I'm like, all right. I'm like, all right. I, apparently, I'm not just rapping, but now I'm getting back to that. Like I said at the end of those songs, and the way I be freestyling and writing down the words, and now from doing the podcast, I'm just around more words, and more words is just, you know, that's good for me, and it can help with this type of situation. So, like I said, you know, I might be out there. I'm gonna be rapping on my music, but it's music. It's art. It's um from an artist. That rapper job is that rapper job is a lazy job. The rapper job is get high, get drunk, take pills, do all this, go in, be in there eight hours, be sleeping your fucking session, wake up, make some bullshit, come back tomorrow, pay all the money, sell some drugs, do it again. Like, nah, I'm like, yo. This that shit putting too much time to not be putting too much money in you like you gotta be all in you gotta be in 101 percent, man putting it all in everything risking it all and like i said it's gamble it's down near the casino it's damn near a far fetch because so only so few people get through those little cracks and the ones that even do it's hard for them to stay there after a while because that's just how now people are so judgmental Anything can happen to sway them from not listening to your music. If they think you this way or that way, they they you know what I mean. It's um, it's a it's a crazy wild game, and anybody who don't see that, I'm like, yo, you you going you in for a rude awakening, thinking it's all peaches and creams, nigga. Nah, it ain't, bro. It ain't. This shit is um complex. This is hard. This shit is very orchestrated. This shit is, you know, backwards. This shit is raw. This shit is fake. This shit is this. It ain't even off talent like nigga you we got dupe they got us they got us good we thought we had this we was about like come on man i know if you out there i hear you i feel your pain man i'm telling you i feel your pain i know we was supposed to get that feature with drake that with future with wayne with uh cole with kendrick like yo we said we was gonna do it we might not get to it though but we gonna get somewhere you know if you can start making, I don't give a, man, if you can make a couple thousand a month or something, if you're doing that, man, off the music, salute to you, but, man, do something else, too. Don't put all, don't just keep putting it all into the, keep doing the music, but don't put it all into it. Like, man, there's too much stuff to do out here, and if you that brilliant, we need your mind elsewhere, too. That's all I'm saying. So, that's why you gotta be, if you that creative in just music. Imagine what else you could be creative creative in. That's what I'm saying. Because I ain't trying to spook none of my rap niggas out there. Like, I feel y'all. I get you. I'm right there with you, bro. I'm right there with you. I want you to make it. I want to make it, man. But damn, I'm just saying devil's advocate. What if none of us do? Neither, you know what I mean? None of the whole crew or nothing. Like, none of us make it as big as we always said we was going to make it. And know that we could probably do it. But it just ain't work for us. It ain't in the cars or something. When you come to that realization, that is a scary thought. That is a scary thought that 
eventually you're going to have to accept. And I've seen some people grow to be fucking 50 and they still won't accept it. Still rapping because they love to rap. But maybe only with time is delusional if they think they about to get rich and famous and do it. Like, bruh, th those are even more thin, thinner cracks. You're going to have to be able to get through. Like, yeah, those is even harder to slide through if you want that. Like, this is it. That's why in rap they be like, oh, you an old rapper. You this or that. Like, because they know. They know that it's different it's just different i'm not saying you can't be an older one we see how jay-z great uh age gracefully but i am saying it's a young man's game because they the ones doing all these trends and all that when you get to 30 35 you got kids hell you might be married you still rapping you doing like yo it's some shit you ain't crashing out for you're not about to go stop traffic just to shoot a video risk going to jail or being walmart standing on the thing doing something wild and crazy to get out on there like bro you are thinking about freedom and most importantly your family like all right bro i i, I love rap but nigga, i ain't about to crash out just to try to get on to, for some crazy internet moment so everybody know my song now and some niggas yeah no way i wish i was recording this one this is a good episode i should have brought it on my other one i like I gotta step back in here a little bit more. Recording here. I might even make a nice little um nice little place out here with a nice little setting. And it's funny because I don't know if y'all couldn't see it, but it said created in there. When I first moved in here, I spray painted create on there. And I think before I even moved on to the created players, I put that D on there. Created. Um I think that was funny. And then created players, this shit just all came together so perfectly um when i thought about it i said i spray painted that in like the first two years i moved here way before the creative players i spray painted create that's wild um yeah so to sit in this room and be talking about man i couldn't like not nah, create that music create that art man um but as far as the rapping man rapping then we let the we let these motherfuckers call themselves rappers and they can't freestyle we let these motherfuckers call themselves rappers and they can't perform Without their background vocals all in the shit. Like, with just background vocals. that We let these niggas call themselves some rappers, bro. We let them call themselves rappers. And they can't even acapella a verse. You can't even just spit a verse to yours. You can't just do it acapella. We let y'all, we let y'all call y'allself rappers. Because we would never let them call themselves hoopers. If you come out here and you can't eat air ball like, bro, you're not a hooper, bro. You might be able to play basketball, but you're not a hooper. We can't let you call yourself a hooper because of who else we call a, a goat. Come on. We let you call yourself a rapper? A rapper, nigga? You can't even perform? You ain't even got merch, nigga? You a rapper? What? You ain't got no money for video? You ain't got no money for studio time? You a rapper? Nah, that ain't it. You can't You can't even record your... You a rap? Nah. So... It's a bunch of just like at a position at a at a uh, corporate job. You got a title and you got uh, skills that need to be required and you got damn near expectations of your job description, bro, to be able to call yourself a rapper. Y'all won't call yourself MCs. I bet you don't do that. The, pit, the folks I'm talking about, you, you wouldn't call yourself an MC because, you know, it take a little bit more. But hey, oh, I say rap. We done. We done. We done rap. When it comes to rap, that's what I'm like, done with rap, bro. It's a bad business right now. The fake motherfucker, it's a bad business right now. It's fake niggas, it's scams, it's this, that, that. Like, yo, if y'all like this video, man, I need y'all to like it. I need y'all to share it. I need y'all to drop a comment if I was kicking some game or, you know what I mean? Um, This is what every rapper needs to hear in 2024. This is why I'm quitting rap. I'm done with rap. I make music now. Now, if it falls under that, hey, I call it music. I'm creating art. It ain't just rap no more. It's it bigger than rap. Rap has been hijacked. Rap ain't ours no more. It ain't what we thought like. Man, it's what whatever them folks wanted to be. Rap has been hijacked, but yo.